Yes, so good evening, everyone, and welcome to our virtual pitching event. We'd like to do a new format, try it out, that um, we have uh, companies that are fundraising currently or trading currently, whether publicly or in private pool, uh, pitching and answering Q&A questions. And later, this video will be also available online in YouTube, in our Fundabeam platform, so you can also catch up with our participants later and listen to the pitches once again. But uh, welcome, and today we have four companies. We have Poclet, Zeno, Romati, and WiseDrive. While uh, Poclet might be still accepting your investment offers, uh, Zenu will be um, fundraising soon, let's say in a few weeks. Uh, Promoty is having their private round and uh, soon again uh, publicly uh, tradable. And WiseDrive will also be publicly tradable soon, I hope. So please uh, check out the Fundabeam platform and keep updated in regards to new fundraisings. So uh, let's start with Dominikos. Would you be ready to tell us more about the booklet, please? Sure, sure. Uh, do you see my screen? Yes, I do. Well. All right, so hello everyone. <clears throat> my name is uh, Dominikas and I'm co-founder and CEO of Pocklet, financial education app for kids and teens. There is a widely acknowledged lack of basic financial knowledge uh, among adults, and it might be hard to change the uh, habits of grown-ups, but there is a great potential to increase financial literacy level uh, of young people. And uh, with the right technology, we can provide education to children that we never had ourselves when we were kids. So that's why we have created Pocklet. Solution is the app where children can see the balance, can have the payment card, can learn save and invest with real money, can do chores and in that way earn money. Parents can easily transfer pocket money to children and see how children are spending. And this all is supported uh, by educational content and advices. Just a few more. Uh, comments on the educational part. Children can do lessons via interactive chatbot or can learn from TikTok style video content as well parents can see the learning progress. We're targeting both parents and children in the European economic area. And uh, there are several direct competitors in various regions and this proves to us that there is a need for service like ours and, and customers are ready to pay for it. And we still see a room for innovation, especially in educational area. And this is how we are different. Uh, as, we, as we provide proprietary educational methods, we involve parents into educational process and we offer behavior-based lessons and advices. We run freemium business model and the main revenue is coming uh, from monthly subscriptions. And as well, we see a potential in the future to add new revenue streams from partnerships, interchange, and reselling third-party products. We have uh, launched our product uh, in Lithuania uh, last year in September. And since then, we were running growth hacking activities and have managed to onboard more than 3% of uh, total children uh, population from Lithuania. Uh, it's a pleasure to be uh, part of a very experienced team. And uh, founders are Thomas and myself. Thomas is PhD in economics and is lecturer at various universities. And he is our brain behind educational part of the solution. And my bag background is in software engineering. And uh, I take care of uh, product development, team leadership, and I hold the CEO role. And as well, we have on board amazing advisors who as well are investors and who have experience from companies like Revolut, Railsbank, Simcorp, uh, Neo Finance. Yeah, and uh, we're raising 400K at evaluation, uh, 2.8 million uh, per money. And funds will be used for further product development, for starting geographical expansion, and we aim to reach uh, 40K uh, MRR. So if you like uh, what we're doing and would like to join us, so you can invest uh, at the funder beam, or if you want to talk to me, so feel free to do that directly. Thank you. Yes, thank you, very appreciated. And please, if you have any questions, then uh, would appreciate very much now 
as uh, Dominicus will have to leave, but you can reach him through this Poklat email as well, uh, always and later, if you don't have questions now. So Dominicus, if you could wait for a few minutes, would appreciate. Let's see if questions turn up in chat. And meanwhile, uh, please, Zenu would be happy to have your pitch. All right, so hello again, everyone. My name is Mindogas. I'm a co-founder of Zenu which is the healthiest dog food subscription service in the market. <clears throat> the problem we're solving is uh, actually very simple and straightforward. Uh, basically, dogs are getting ill and sick and then sometimes even dying because there's just too much sugar in the regular dog food. And uh, when my co-founder Agata was faced with this problem firsthand, she had to fight for her best friend's Ellie's life, and she created recipes for Zanu dog food, which we are now producing at scale. We're using human-grade uh, food ingredients enhanced with superfoods for complete and balanced nutrition. We are applying freeze-drying technology, which is the most innovative food preservation technology to save up to 97% of all nutritional value. And it also makes it very convenient to our customers, pets, owners. <clears throat> uh, switching slides is a challenge. So the market uh, we're serving uh, in terms of global appearance, pet care services are now worth around $200 billion or euros annually. If we're talking about addressable or obtainable market, which would be premium dog food in European Union, it's valued at 14 billion euros last year and growing 5% every year. Of course, there are other brands selling dog food, both online and offline. However, there isn't an established market leader within the European Union selling dog food subscription services. Most notable competition is in the UK, for example, Butternut Box. However, uh, even though they're venture capital backed, they are selling frozen food. And we know that it's incredibly hard to scale. So our freeze drying technology not only ensures that our food is of highest quality, but we can also outscale even the bigger guys. The business model we operate, as already mentioned, is a monthly subscription service, meaning the customer orders once and pays every month and we deliver food every month. Our customer lifetime value already is 780 euros and growing with every month we spend in the market. It is already 12 times higher than our customer acquisition cost, which is around 60 to 65 euros. Last month, we reached 35,000 euro MRR and we can grow with 20% month on month rate as soon as we remove our main growth constraint, which is working capital required to increase our manufacturing capacity, which we intend, intend to do that after our next fundraise. We have an amazing team dedicated to making this happen, led by Agota, our chief nutrition expert, who's also responsible for our brand creation and partnerships. I myself take care of business administration, financials, investor relations, and executive team development. We have skills required to develop both our physical product and our digital product experience. And our chief marketing officer, Mikolas, is bringing multi-million euro marketing experience to the table. We also have a team of another five people taking care of our customer success, marketing projects, and fulfillment. And uh, we're soon going to be launching our fundraising campaign publicly on Funderbeam platform. We already have uh, lead investors, angels already committed to the round, led by Dmitry Sumin from Espan. We're going to raise from 300,000 to 500,000 euros um, at 6 million cap. Uh, we will use these funds to launch cat food this summer. So uh, I guess it goes to, it has to mention in the market that if we launch and when we launch the cat food, we essentially double our addressable market to nearly 30 billion in Europe. And with these funds, we will add another 1,000, 1,500 customers and reach 150,000 euro MRR and raise our next round. Thank you very much. I will gladly take your questions or you can contact it 
contact me by my email at the bottom right of the slide. Yes, thank you. I appreciate it. Alex, Promote. I think Promote is the quite familiar company to many of our investors that have been already investing in Fund of Bay platform. But uh, welcome once again. And Promote is having a private fundraising at this point, yes? Yep. Thanks. Uh, all right. Yeah. Hi, from my side, I'm Alex. I'm the founder of Promoti, and uh, we build uh, influencer relationship management software. So I wanted to ask you, do you remember how ads were bought before Facebook and Google? It was quite a long time ago. It was directly from publishers. You had to call and negotiate with magazines, uh, newspapers, different websites. And uh, that's exactly where influencer marketing is at right now. But the problem is way bigger because there's millions of little publishers now that you have to buy from. And it's a huge pain to do that all manually. So this industry needs software. There's no global solution yet. And there's no standard process yet, which makes uh, this thing the whole more a lot difficult because everybody has their own micro processes. And our goal is to solve that. The market of influencer marketing is uh, very large as well. It's valued at 8 billion uh, in 2020, and it's estimated to grow to 15 billion by 2022. And we actually believe it can become bigger than digital advertising, which was 350 billion at 2020, and will grow to 786 billion by 2026. And there's a reason why we believe that can happen. 92% of consumers trust the recommendations of their friends, family, and idols over traditional advertising. The biggest problem and the biggest strength of influencer marketing is that person in the middle. And as you saw from the previous slide, it creates huge trust to have that person there, but also it creates a problem because it cannot work like a traditional ad exchange like Google or Facebook, where you just buy an ad and publish it into the network. You also need to maintain the relationship. And that because of that trust, it's the only type of marketing that you actually want to see. You don't really care about looking at Google ads or Facebook ads and go actually and check them out. But in fact, 49% of consumers rely fully on influencers for product recommendations. And you can reach all of the same audience with influencer marketing as you can with digital ad marketing as well, because in the end, everybody follows everybody. And the more deeper social networks become a part of our life, the more this will be true. And once a standard has been built, it can happen. Once influencer marketing is as easy to acquire as digital advertising, it, will, it can go past digital advertising. So far, we've built a campaign creation tool to start solving this problem, but it's not enough. There's a big seasonality problem. And while digital marketing also has this problem, as mentioned before, that person in the middle is what creates it, the difficulty of it. You don't care too much about where your ad is published and you don't want to keep relationships with uh, that website or Google placement that went out there. But with influencer marketing, the person that you're talking to there, it's uh, how the pros do it. And uh, they don't do just seasonal campaigns short term. Uh, what they want to really do is build those long term relationships. For example, if you have an ice cream brand, you do a campaign in the summer, then uh, for the rest of the year, you're just blank and you come back the next summer, then uh, you're wasting all of that extra time in between campaigns. And that campaign between uh, that gap between campaigns is not currently filled. So an expert marketer would do their campaign and then write down what kind of ice creams these people like, who worked well, who didn't work well, how it was to work with somebody, maybe write down their children's birthdays and engage them throughout the year and build a relationship. So once it's time for the next campaign, you already have uh, warm contacts out there who are going to also perform a lot better because of the authenticity of the relationship. So we haven't filled that and we haven't solved that problem yet, but we're building a CRM solution that is the solution to this. In this solution, uh, you'll be able to insert influencers into this Trello style dashboard where you can uh, also engage influencers that are not on the promote the platform. You can also directly chat with them from here and uh, you can write different notes, labels and um, keep track of all of your influencer processes. So over time, as brands use it, they insert information and value into this product, which makes it very sticky for them. So far with our current solution, we have uh, got some traction from over 15,000 collaborations on our technology. There are over 4,000 marketers on the platform and we've ran over 5,000 campaigns around Europe. We've also shown consistent uh, revenue growth year over year, even though our revenue fluctuates, it's always been growing and that's because of the seasonality problem that we're now solving. Some of our most notable customers can be seen here. 
And that proves that there is a huge interest in influencer marketing. All of the bigger brands are doing it, but as mentioned before, there's no standard process. There's no big solution that solves it yet. Our CRM is the last piece in our product market fit. And why we believe that is because of the user tests and customer interviews we've conducted. Only last week we did seven user tests and six of them were already willing to subscribe into our Figma mockup. And we plan to release it uh, within a month. So let's quickly look at a competitor. So Green in the US, they make e-commerce influencer marketing software, uh, which also acts as a CRM for those influencers. And uh, they've recently raised 110 million at a 910 million valuation. So it shows what the potential of this uh, industry, these types of products are, and this is only in the US. In the rest of the world, there's no clear leader yet. While there are a lot of solutions, it's very clustered. And our plan is to do what Bolt did with Uber. We're going from country to country and locking down the alternative markets before they get there. How are we gonna do that? We will focus on uh, making the marketer's life easier first. So previously we were mainly operating as a marketplace for both sides, but this removes the supply and demand problem that has been uh, uh, blocking our growth right now. Uh, while in the CRM, it's possible to also interact with influencers that are not on the promote app. We will create a low barrier of entry with our freemium model. Green and other very big like uh, CRM solutions start at like 20,000 a year. Uh, and it's very difficult for smaller brands to enter the market. And when we make that, barrier of entry very easy, then the more our solution is used, the more it standardizes the process. And eventually that's our vision that we want to be the standard. We also do enterprise sales for large brands and agencies to drive uh, revenues. For example, uh, one very good use case would be, let's say the Red Bull athlete program. We've also been in discussions with them in Finland, but uh, it's not closed yet. And uh, those kinds of solutions could very clearly take the programs that they're currently managing in Excel and uh, implement it in our CRM. We will also continue with the local approach. As mentioned before, influencer marketing is very relationship heavy and also the culture matters a lot. Uh, so that's why in the rest of the world, other than uh, the English speaking one, we need that local approach uh, to uh, be successful. And also we've uh, taken first steps towards Asia. Uh, in March, 2022, we uh, closed the partnership to expand to India with some a great marketing experts there. And um, it's a emerging state market. It's earlier than the rest of the world in influencer marketing. So we're at the very right time going to it. And it's estimated to grow to 290 million by 2025. And there's no clear market leader yet while there are a couple of uh, players there. The biggest platform there has about 50,000 users in their database signed up and uh, that's the same size as promoters in the Scandinavia, which is a 2,700 times smaller geographic area. We also, since last month of launching, have already gotten over 1,500 users there and the biggest influencer is with over 1 million followers. Now we're raising uh, a 400K seed extension round. It will give us 12 months of uh, more runway. And what we plan to do is take the CRM to market, validate the unit economics, and then uh, we're ready to raise a uh, Series A round. And also we wanna plan uh, and support our India launch currently going on. So this is what we plan to do. Uh, this has been promoting. Thanks for the uh, listening to the pitch. And if you want to dive deeper with me, then send me an email at alex.promoted.eu and uh, we can have a meeting to discuss it further. Thank you. Thank you. And as uh, yes, Promote is raising in private round, then please contact Alex directly. Thanks. And then please, Norman from Weisdry. Hello, Norman. Hi, everyone. Hi, my name is Norman and I'm from Weisdry. And we are here to make your car management hassle free. So, how do we do that? By bringing all car related services in one place. So, it was a few years ago when I bought a second hand Volkswagen, which of course soon needed maintenance. Since I had no idea where to take my car, I turned to the almighty internet. Uh, after going down the rabbit hole of countless service providers, I came out on the other side three days later with three different offers ranging from 300 to 600 euros. It took a while to figure out the right provider for me and I was actually frustrated having spent so much time and energy on something far from rocket science. So I got my co-founder Kevin to do a deep dive into the world of car service with me because he has uh, automotive uh, background and has worked in the industry quite a while. 
And after thorough market research, we uh, believed to have discovered a hole in the road uh, waiting to be filled. And that was the start of WiseDrive. WiseDrive is an online platform for booking car service and repairs. Uh, our goal is to improve uh, transparency of the market, improve overall condition of the vehicles, and remove the unnecessary headache related to car maintenance. With almost 150 service providers easily accessible, accessible on one platform, customers can compare offers by pricing, locations, and ratings, and you can instantly book a time. Weistra vision is to revolutionize the automotive industry by bringing everything correlated in a single mobile app, leaving our users to enjoy hassle-free car management. Keyword for this year has been growth. Uh, within the first four months, we beat all the numbers we did last year. So compared to 2021, we have, we have had 51% more bookings, 114% more GMV, and our conversion has grown to 2.2 times. And this is just the beginning. And we take 5% commission from every booking. There are more than 280 million cars on the roads in Europe with an average age of 11 and a half years, which means they need more frequent visits to the garage. Annual cost for repair and maintenance per car averages around 1,000 euros, and everyone should be able to get their money's worth. Our goal is to get 20 million bookings by the end of 2027. Our team is full of driven and like-minded people with strong values. I have background in B2B sales and coaching and Kevin has automotive engineering background and has worked his whole career in the industry itself. We found and analyzed competition from different countries. Our USB is estimation tool, a built-in estimation tool that shows instant pricing for different repairs and services and significantly reduces overhead in the garages. We're currently raising a pre-seed round of 750,000 euros from which 250K has been already committed. And we're currently doing a private round in Thunderbeam. So feel free to reach out after the pitch. And uh, our plan with this investment is to develop our first uh, MVP of the mobile app since almost 70% of users are currently using mobile, but in the web application. And secondly, we want to expand to Warsaw, Poland and uh, onboard our first up to 100 carriages and show traction there. So we are asking you to join WiseDrive in revolutionizing the automotive industry. Together, we can make the car repair market more transparent and hassle-free for car owners. Thank you. Uh, currently also, WiseDrive is in private mode. So please contact Norman or I hope soon you will be publicly fundraising also. Uh, thank so you. thank you everyone. And um, thank you, Dominika. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, Mindaugas. And thank you, Norman. And we will be posting this video also to our blog, sending out with our newsletter, posting in our YouTube. So we hope that many of our founder beamers will see it also after the event. So thank you again, everyone. And uh, hoping to see you again in our uh, uh, live pitchings in Investeremis Festival and uh, upcoming events. Thanks. Thank you very much.